certified nurse midwife based in Gilbert is now suspended by the state. This comes more than a year after her former client's baby died during labor. The Arizona State Board of Nursing says concerns surrounding midwives have been building for some time. Here's what Fox 10 investigator Justin Lum uncovered. The reality is Karen Braun continued to practice as a midwife since this tragedy last March up until the state ordered an emergency suspension last week. The trauma, grief and pain and suffering my daughter and our family has experienced, we do not wish on any other family. You're listening to a woman in pain voicing her heartbreak to the Arizona State Board of Nursing on May 16th. We aren't identifying her. But on March 3rd, 2023, her daughter, known as Patient AP, had a breech pregnancy. Her midwife at the time was Karen Kulinchenko Braun, owner and clinical director of Gilbert Family Birth Center and Balanced Midwifery. The center's website shows Braun's bio, saying she's been attending births since 1994. State records obtained by Fox 10 show AP was discharged by Braun due to a breech pregnancy, which is out of the scope of a certified nurse midwife. But documents say Braun provided medication orders to a certified professional midwife instead of transferring AP to a more qualified provider. A certified professional midwife, also known as a non-nurse midwife, is licensed by the state's Department of Health Services, held under different standards. I believe that Karen Brown and her friend and business associate, Alice Gordon, is responsible due to their conduct. We'll get to Allison Gordon in a moment. AP's prolonged labor lasted nearly two days. Instead, Karen and Allison chose to put my daughter through 43 hours of tortuous labor and traumatic birth, endangering her life and suffocating my granddaughter. The state's preliminary findings say despite the discharge three days earlier, Braun came to the pregnant woman's home to drop off supplies and medical records. Karen continued to praise and encourage my daughter to be strong and having endurance. And my daughter continued to trust Karen and Allison that they knew what they were doing and that she was safe. And mom and baby was not safe. Still, no transfer of care to a more qualified provider. The patient's mom says her daughter sustained serious injuries and the baby died during delivery. Findings reveal Braun has violated Board of Nursing standards since 2020, accused of admitting a patient to her birth center who had ruptured membranes for more than 24 hours. The board says Braun did not initiate transfer to a higher level of care when the same patient went into shock after losing a liter of blood. We have concerns that are over a period of years, so notwithstanding the years of experience, we have years of troubling questions of competency, questions of judgment. The non-nurse midwife that Braun allegedly referred patient AP to last March has been investigated by the Department of Health multiple times. Allison Gordon was suspended for 30 days in 2021 before being put on probation for five months. DHS findings say she did not ensure a client had a hepatitis C test, did not meet standards on testing fetal heart tones, and waited too long to transfer the client to the hospital after a postpartum hemorrhage. After the March 2023 death of AP's baby, Gordon submitted a midwife report leading to an investigation by DHS. Ten violations include the failure to call emergency medical services when labor failed to progress and the health and safety of the client and fetus became at risk. Gordon surrendered her midwife license. We've reached out to her for comment but have not heard back. As for Braun, one stipulation on the proposed consent agreement says she would have to be supervised in her practice coming out of her pocket. Her attorney, Julie Gunnigal, says this would cause financial strain. I don't think that it's this board's intention to place Ms. Braun permanently out of practice. And that is one thing that we are kind of worried about given these terms. You know, 30 years a nurse, 20 years a midwife, caught thousands of babies. Nobody gets into this profession to have bad outcomes. Although admittedly, there is a terrible outcome here, albeit hours after um, midwife Braun removed herself from care. I believe Karen's childbirth practices is downright dangerous to the public. And I'm pleading with you to stop this nurse from harming another family. The board responded by summarily suspending Karen Braun's license, taking away the opportunity for her to contest the action before it takes effect, saying the public must be protected. The next hearing to address Braun's suspended license is scheduled for July 1st. Her attorney has not responded to our request for an interview at this time. I'm Justin Lum for Fox 10 Investigates.